three fun things are happening, what are they? Um, we're getting a tree, or a couple. Okay. And I'll explain that later. That's one of them. You've got two more to go. We get to use a crane. That's <laughs> kind of par for the course. What's different about today, about our job? We have a rock. A rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what happened? Did your dad forget the wood to stack the uh -huh. palms on? So we we're like, what are we going to do? So we, <laughs> along the way over the mountains, we, we found a, a, uh, a we found a boulder on the side of the road that was pushed out of the way by the road crews from like the landslides that happen every single winter. And we said, you know what? That rock would look great in our garden. And then also, and no one's going to miss it. And also it will act to hold our palms up. That's the second cool thing that's happening today. What's the third? Now I'm not sure. <laughs> My kid came home from college to help me all summer long do work. This is a really good time of year, people, to, uh, to get some work done, get some palms in, because Boy Wonder Carson is home. He knows how to use the crane. That means we can double up. That means, uh, you know, I could be on the ground. He could be using the crane, whatever. That's what we're going to do here. Um, yeah, so Carson is back for a couple months. Woo! And um, how excited are you, you to be back working with your dad? I'm pretty excited. For Golden Gate <laughs> Palms, huh? Oh, yeah. It's fun work, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right. So the, the, uh, the first thing that's so exciting are these Guadalupe Palms. These are extremely slow-growing palms. People here had to get rid of them because they're going to have a driveway coming in here to uh, addition their building. They were going to have to cut these trees down. Uh, until we came along. So we're gonna save them. Hopefully they'll transplant. Well, I know they will because I've done it a million times before. Uh, we're gonna trim out the flowers, make them look really beautiful. But look, you can't really tell because there's a tree in the way, but they're basically two perfectly matching trees. So these would be great at someone's driveway head or staircase head or whatever. But it's very rare you find two matching trees like this. And the, uh, I'll put a few other video links underneath that explain this palm further, but basically it is uh, endemic to a tiny little island off of Baja and the fog that comes barreling in on the uh, northwest side is enough to condense on these trees, bring the moisture down to the roots. So even though it doesn't really get any rain all summer long, the fog will keep these trees alive. And that's the only reason they're out on that rocky, otherwise dry island. If it wasn't for the fog, these things wouldn't exist. All the other brujillas are mainland palms. This is the only uh, Icelandic, uh, Icelandic, I, island, uh, habitating palm. And, uh, it's different from the Mexican fan palm because it doesn't get nearly as tall. The fronds are way bigger. There is hardly any thorns on the trunk and it's self cleaning. You can use these things as cooler skirts. You got to put a few of them together unless you're really little and weave them together. But Carson, when are you guys going to have like a luau with all your buddies? at the ranch and just have to, everybody's got to wear these they have to make them yeah yeah the only clothes you can wear are stuff you can make with that you give them give them like an hour to make their clothes when they get there yeah. does that sound fun? Sounds pretty fun yeah it's like a toga party but better uh anyway that's the story so uh there's actually an edible fruit on this tree it tastes like burnt chocolate and uh just a wonderful tree and uh if you'd like a couple match these these are going to go as a pair i'm not selling one like I said, never do you find these things as a pair. So if you think you need a pair of Guadalupe pumps, give me a call and we'll set you up. Any last words? There are some pretty nice trees. All right, good. Let's go. Hey, if you have that party, can you invite me? Yeah. Awesome. It's your house. Great. My house. My, my, my material for the skirts. Yeah.
Look at the scale of canopy. That is a huge canopy. It's probably like 16 feet across. You want some shade? Call me up. I got shade. 